Hey everyone, I just finished filming my video about these wires. Um, and my midway through it, my Microsoft, my microscope stopped working. Um, so I took it apart and it didn't really stop working. It stopped working whenever I connected a USB cable. And let's see if I can show you exactly what happens. Um, this is the USB thing down here, and if I very gently wiggle it, see the pins are not connected at all, um, they're not soldered together, so it just comes right off and pushes right back down. Obviously this isn't good. Um, I checked the other connectors on the board and they seem fine. So I'm not entirely sure why it has done this. Um, also another complaint is that the screw holes for this PCB, this goes into the actual like microscope casing, uh, it has like, they don't use plated through holes, so you get, like, actual bits of PCB on, you're not going to be able to see, I guess I'll find that later, these through holes here, um, I do, do I have to press this to focus? No. So there's no actual like plating in them. So all the screws are just covered in um, dust and other junk. So I'm not going to really film anything like this. Like I'm not going to film any soldering or anything uh, since I don't have like my microscope or anything. Um, but I will just make a little update video like this. So my plan here if we can get close enough and the camera can focus. Yeah. So actually, this would be a much better shot. Um, if we just... You can see. So it's not just the data pins here, but it's also the connector ground pins here. Um, you may see these little red dots. Um, I think they're just used to hold yeah okay we can actually just get those off they're used to hold um the things on during soldering um they're not any kind of adhesive or anything so i'm gonna have to effectively solder this all back on so i'll uh get back to you in a second once i have things set up Okay, we're back, and I'll explain my setup here. I have my helping hand here to hold things for me. I have it kind of held up because I'm kind of tall, and I want to be comfortable while I do this. So let's see if this is going to focus. It might be a little bit difficult. Um, but I have captain tape all around the bottom, so I don't heat it up. It's on the uh, back too. I have some electrical tape here just to stop things from reflecting. Um, I have this little bottom helping hand here just holding, applying a little bit of pressure in this direction in order to keep the um, port flush with the PCB. And I've cut some holes in the tape here so I have access to the pins. There we go. Um, it looks fine to me. Like, nothing seems particularly off balance. Um, and, of course, the captain tape on the USB port there is just to stop scratches from these uh, helping hands um, because they're not the best ones and I really don't want to do unnecessary damage because I 
think I'm I'm not the best solderer, so I had to do all my chances, all my I have to take all my uh, all the help I can get. So my plan here is first we're gonna do the um, ground slash support pins at the side here. Um, so these two, I'm just going to um, add some flux after cleaning it with isopropyl alcohol, um, and then I'm going to run my iron against it. I have a chisel tip. Um, on my pencil. Um, it seems like the size will be fine. So I'm just going to quickly heat it up there and there. Um, just for a few seconds. I, I'm pretty sure this board has a ground plane, which is going to make things a little difficult. Um, so I have considered using hot air to avoid any thermal shock. But we'll see how this goes first. Um, I may use the iron to just heat up the board there. I'm not sure. Um, my main worry about hot air is that I'm accidentally going to desolder this. Um, because it's not soldered on already. And then I'd have to solder on a connector. So I really don't want to do that. Um, I mean, I guess I am right now, but, you know, there's some kind of, I believe there's some kind of ground connected here that's just keeping this thing on. So, yeah, um, I'll be back in a minute with a progress update on that. Okay, I am back. Let's see if this is going to focus. It seems like to focus when my tweezers in here. I'm not sure why, so let's try and get back here. So you'll notice that I now have this big blob of solder around the side. I'm pretty sure that's okay. Um, this is just what I ended up with. Um, I added some solder here. I added a lot of solder. Um, I'm okay with this just because um, it's used for a physical connection. Um, as you can see compared to this side which has basically nothing over here. Um, if we can focus, yeah. So there's basically nothing on these two pads here, even though it's the same physical connector here. While on this side, we have an entire blob that is connecting them both, and that's okay. Um, I've peeled back this tape I was using to protect it since I do not need this holder anymore because if we look at this, um, let's try and grab and wiggle this. I'm trying really hard to wiggle this and uh, I could use my fingers, but it's covered in flux and touching flux stuff with your fingers is how you have a bad time. Yeah, believe me, this would have wriggled before but uh, putting some actual pressure on it. Uh, okay, I'll do it for the camera. We'll, we'll just try and wiggle it a little bit. Yeah, so in order to, at this point, I'm just moving the board. So um, I'm gonna do the other side next. I'm gonna have to be particularly careful because there is a resistor there. Um, an LED maybe? Yeah, I think it's an LED. Um, I had to use 400 degrees for this on my iron. This is all lead free and I use lead free, so it's not too surprising, but we'll see how we go here. I might cut away some of the captain tape. I don't want to get it in the solder. See you in a second. Okay, we're back and this side looks a lot better. I used, um, the technique I ended up doing was to do this one first, but then also just heat up, heat them both up, and then add some solder. And I'm pretty sure that worked. So both of these sides are now um, soldered on. So we're going to have to do the data pins in a second. I'm not going to add more solder to that if I can avoid it. Um, because these are like 
actual pads. They're not just ground planes. Um, so I'm just going to try and reflow them. I'm going to use a lower temperature again, like 350 or something. I'll, I'll try 320. Um, that should melt lead free just fine. Um, and as a side note, I actually spent time cleaning out my flux tub the other day and it has this weird kind of texture now. Like it looks like it's some inside of a fruit. Um, usually it was kind of gel, but now it looks like it's, I don't know. Um, it seems to be doing its job though. I'll just show you how I'm adding it. I'm just getting some on the end and then putting it on like that. That's all. All right. I'll see you in a second. Okay. We're back. Um, so I just heated up the joints. I had some flux and just heated them up carefully, um, to reflow them. They didn't rip any pads or anything and all the joints look fine. Um, I can't really use a microscope or anything. I'm pretty sure there's no bridges. I'll check that in a minute with a multimeter. Um, there's five pins here, so I assume one of them is just to pull up to uh, ground or pull down, pull up to power or pull down to ground or something. Um, but yeah, this seems to be a successful repair. I'll check it. Um, I'll clean it up, then I'll plug it in, and if we get some LEDs and stuff, then uh, I'll assemble it back together. And we're back. I've removed, I don't know if I did this before in the previous video, but I removed the tape in case this is a heat sink, since I don't want things immediately overheating. Um, so here we are back here. I had to reflow this pin here because it was not connected. And I did the high IQ move of, you know, pushing every pin with my tweezers to check if it was, you know, connected or not. So after doing that and cleaning it, it looks pretty good to me. Um, so let's try plugging this in and giving the connector a wiggle. So I'm pretty sure it goes in this way. Um, So we have some LED lights. Now if we wiggle the connector, all good. Uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna have any like strain or anything, but as you can see, I'm wiggling the whole board as well, not the connector. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, well. All right, I'll clean this up and assemble everything. I am going to give this a bit of a wash with isopropyl alcohol, just like um, this area in particular to get the adhesive off, but also these holes. Um, actually, I'm not sure if I should do that um, because these screws, they're just going straight in there and that's, I'm not sure if that's damaging the PCB or not. Um, I mean, they're self-tapping screws but uh, let me see if I can find one. Um, well, I dropped one and it's gone forever. So I, I will probably not try and find one, but uh, one came out and had a lot of, okay, yeah, I think I can see it from here. Hang on a second. Okay. So let me just put it on the bench here. Is that going to focus? It might not focus. What about against here? You like focusing things over here, right? Yeah, so I don't know if you can see that, but it has some dust on it almost. Not on the top, but on the actual thread. Um, not great. So I'll just give it a bit of a clean in hopes that that will uh, remove any of the dust that's contaminated it and uh, I'll go look for this other screw so see you in a second 
I just want to do a quick pause while I'm reassembling this thing. Um, just for anyone curious, um, the actual, I guess, sensor, I'm not sure if it's the sensor or just like, it would be the sensor, wouldn't it? It's digitizing it. Anyway, it connects to the back of it by this, um, this flex cable. It looks very similar to an embedded display port cable or something, but it looks really, really, really fragile. Um, most of these cables are fragile, but I would not want to look for a replacement for one of these. Um, so just please be really, really careful with that if you're doing it. Same with all the other cables, but, um, just be careful. Be careful. Everything's fragile. Um, let's see if we can get this back in. I did take out the micro SD card earlier. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that. And also had the lens on this piece of paper here, so I don't scratch it. All right. That seems about right. Um, yeah, so I took out the micro SD card earlier, just so if like somehow I heated that things up, I didn't melt it. You don't want to melt micro SD cards, they're a pain. Okay, back right again. I haven't screwed anything in, but I just want to point out this is all in the front. It's all cracked at the moment. Um, however, the back here is up a little bit. And my first thought was like, that's a bit silly. We shouldn't be using screws to like hold things down. But then I realized I didn't route the cable here properly. Um, this should actually be going, there's like a little slot in the middle underneath. Let me see if I can remove this board and show you. But I think the idea is that you put the cable in the midsection here. So let me just do that. Doing it one handed is not a good idea. So I shall actually put the camera down. All right, that is done. That is tricky to do because the cable keeps wanting to come out. Um, and there still is this little gap. Um, it's not resting as nicely as it should be. Um, but that should be good enough. Uh, let's see if we can get a shot underneath there. Yeah, the cable looks fine to me. Um... Yeah, I think it's just it's springiness pushing this up. It's not going to crush the cable. All right, just a quick note on that. Look at these screws. Um, I don't know if it's clear in the video, but to my eye, at least, it looks like these two ones on the right are thicker and self-tapping. And I believe I tried to put one of them in this screw area here and it didn't fit. But if I look over here, it actually looks like that's where it went. Perhaps they've been using oversized screws for this? Not sure. Yeah, I have like 30 seconds to end this video since I'm running out of storage space. So look, it works. If I wiggle the plug, it works. If I tilt the screen, it works.